stuff. I, 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 I need to get some feedback from your adoring fans. Did you like that? Wow. I thought that was just, that was just phenomenal. Awareness of your body, your posture, breathing. Those are very important when it comes to getting past anxiety. Why introduce our students to underrepresented composers? Well, I believe that through music, we can equip our students for a broader perspective for the world in which they will live. So we can just do like details icing is what I call it. Yes, like yeah. on a cake. <laughs> <laughs> You're like icing, yes. As we grow as mature pianists, we start to get smart about these things. So when my students, we talk about um, sophisticated pedaling, okay? We don't have a marking for like half pedals or flutter pedals or quarter pedals, like maybe you can invent that, okay? But that's what you need a little bit more of on this page. <gasps> Doesn't that feel great? Okay, that's a win. So how do we navigate this new normal? What will music education look like in the coming years? How do I reinvent myself to maintain a successful career? Who am I now? As teachers who want to perform, it's really difficult. But if you can find friends to play for, even through Zoom, that's a good thing. Thank you very much, and welcome to The Beatles Reimagined. Today, I want to focus not on the band, but on the songwriting. Just so excited playing with Dr. R.T. McCain. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't express how happy I am that both Dr. McCain and Dr. Niaho were able to join us for the last couple days. It has just been amazing. And now I think it's time for us to celebrate. See you next year.